Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So CSIR June 2024 exam was one of the unexpected exams from past many years of CSIR net and uh, the level of questions, the way how they are asked has been changed and uh, we all know about that. If you have given the exam, you might already know about it. If not, I'm here to tell you that. Okay. Uh, so if you are someone who's going to prepare for the next exam, that is for December 2024, I am here to talk about three important things that we can uh, get to know from CSIR June 2024 exam and we can modulate our preparation when we are doing it for the December cycle. So we can improvise our uh, preparation in that way so that we can perform well in December exam and if the paper comes in the similar manner, we should be able to tackle that. All right. So there are some very basic things which we have to understand now because I know that majority of you who are preparing for the exam, they have been preparing for this with a trivial method. Uh, most of you might have similar strategies for it. I'll be making a very detailed video on it. Okay, so don't worry about that. That will be coming soon. I'll be making a detailed video, a detailed strategy video for that. But here I'll be just talking about that. What are the things which has been changed in the past exam and what are the things uh, that can be improvised? Okay, that, that uh, we can change, like we can modulate during our preparation. So the first thing is that the exam is no longer uh, going to be an easy exam just like it used to be okay so if you will see the previous exams like uh, especially after the covid okay if you see the question papers were, which were given after covid that is in 2022 and 2023 the question papers were comparatively on the easier side and that's why the cutoff were higher they usually go around 110 plus it went to 117 as well so it was like because the question paper is easy so that's why the cutoff goes high uh, now, any exam, it is not good for any exam to have 60, around 60% 60 cutoff because that makes, uh, that, that just tells you that there are a lot of students who are able to solve 50, more than 50% of the question paper and for a level of exam, that too, for the research level, for all India level exam, it's not a good thing. If you will compare it with gate, the cutoff for go, gate goes around 30 to 32%. So in order to, you know, modulate that in order to make the level of the exam is standardized paper has been improved or you would say that the examiners have uh, increased the level of question paper so that the cutoff goes slightly lower. And I expect that this time the cutoff goes lower. Okay. And we have already discussed about this in my previous video. So the thing is that now you should not expect the exam to be easy. Okay. It has to be and it will be difficult every time. And there is a very genuine reason for that because see earlier if you talk about pre uh, geo era okay that means when the internet was not that easily available in 2015 2014 uh, that time the resources and uh, the knowledge about the exam strategy about the exam that was very limited uh, it was only passed upon by the seniors to the juniors and uh, many people were not even aware about that how to prepare how to do the things how to approach the exam but now you will find out a lot of youtube channels you will find out a lot of people sharing their strategies and which is very good actually for the student community it is very good but again if you see it in the bulk so a lot of people now know that what should be a proper strategy or how to approach the exam and because many people are following similar strategy that is making the competition higher because now everybody is having similar mindset for the exam they are uh, approaching the exam in the similar way and that's uh, just making them to score good marks and when the student will score good marks the cutoff will of, of course go higher okay so yeah so you should expect the exam to be little on the tougher side uh, not uh, like you should not expect it to be easy so generally if you will see any question paper before uh, this the last june 2024 exam if you'll see any question paper any previous year's question paper you will find that either sometime uh, like uh, either sometimes organic chemistry used to be tough or sometimes physical chemistry used to be tough. Uh, there was rarely some time when inorganic chemistry was tough or two of them were tough. Okay, They, they used to make because we, we have three sections. So they used to have two sections easy and or I would say that one section tough, one section average and the third section easy. But this time in the exam, if you will see so organic as well as inorganic, both were on the tougher side and physical chemistry was relatively on the easier side. So that means that now they are, they have raised the bar of 
especially in organic chemistry so earlier we were very have like we were having very unexpected type of questions from inorganic chemistry we knew that okay we will have a question from john taylor distortion we will have questions from 18 electron rule we will be having questions from um, like uh, reaction mechanism for, of organometallic compounds we will have question on weights rule so these were very fixed type of questions which we were like we were having expectation of and they were generally asked in exam and we and also like uh, charge transfer spectra so these are certain topics from inorganic chemistry from where we usually get questions till now okay but this year the question paper was not that easy even if the question was asked from 18 electron rule it was not the general 18 electron rule okay the, the basic 18 electron rule it was from a little bit from the exceptional side from some research paper so that's how they have raised the bar of question that means that you cannot go for the exam with surface level knowledge of the topic you have to dig a little bit you have to go deeper into it and now the concept of book reading again comes in okay so you have to read books you have plenty of time for the next exam i would highly recommend you to read book especially for two major chapters of inorganic chemistry one is organometallic compounds and one is coordination chemistry and you also have to read from standard books i'll be making a video on it okay so don't worry about that that will be coming very soon so stay tuned for that but as of now just make it a note that you cannot just follow uh, some notes or you cannot just follow some notes by some other person or you cannot just follow some video okay you have to read book by your own self so that you have something extra in your pocket when you are preparing or when you are sitting in the exam so you should not be having same uh, level of information as the others have if you have to score higher marks you should have some extra knowledge or some extra concepts in your pocket along uh, apart from others and that will come by book reading and i highly recommend that okay i have always emphasized on it when i was preparing i was not having sources like uh, i was fortunate enough i would say that i was not having uh, sources like youtube and the other things that time it was not that uh, like internet was not that cheap and uh, yeah and there were not a lot of youtube channels which were teaching on on the, on csr net so we have to read books and uh, it used to take time of course but at the end of the day uh, we are now having certain more things or certain more information and we are able to teach other students based upon what knowledge we have gained in our time okay so the thing that the point of telling you all this thing is now book reading is really important and you have to start it because you don't have much time for the next exam okay uh, it looks like that you have four or five months but believe me these are not enough when you start reading books you have initially it is very difficult to get through it and i'll be making video on that okay how to <laughs> how to read book properly because i know it's not easy especially when our attention span has decreased so much uh, especially in this time it's not easy for students to focus and read book but believe me these traditional methods these old method are working and they are important especially right now okay the next important thing which i uh, noticed is that of course you might have also seen that previous years questions have not helped much this time okay so i would not say that the importance of previous year's question is gone or you should not solve previous year's question previous year's question is always the first step when you have to analyze or you have to solve questions related to a certain topic so that means that previous year's question is something which you cannot skip don't think that okay this year previous year's questions were very less or they were not similar to the previous year so let's not solve previous year's question for the next preparation it's, it should not be like that you should be always prepared with the basics okay so for that you have to prepare from previous year's question that is for sure that is most important thing okay but you also have to include new questions new type of questions in your in your preparation so when you are giving mock test or when you are preparing for the exam you should be having certain new questions in your uh, like you should be solving certain new questions as well now for new questions there are like different ways either you can search for some mock test which are available which provide you some new questions for that or you can uh, look for some books which have like questions in their backside like at the end of the chapter you will have in almost all the books you have questions at the end of the chapter and uh, those questions are of course new questions okay but the problem with those co those questions is that you don't get solutions of them so yeah we are working upon that soon we will be coming up with something interesting regarding that but yeah you should be uh, aware about this that now you have to include new questions you cannot just rely on previous year's questions okay just previous year's question is not going to help you uh, 
uh, especially when the exam or the paper is asked in this type okay also the third important thing which i always emphasize upon is aptitude part this time aptitude part was a scoring and uh, if you have done good well done if you have left or uh, sorry this uh, aptitude part then i would say that you should look upon again and you will yourself see that the questions were very straight straightforward you can solve at least five questions i would say they were very easy and everyone can do that okay so the thing is that you should be uh, like focused upon uh, aptitude part also you should not just ignore aptitude part it is scoring portion which can fetch you around 30 marks okay so you should be having an eye on uh, scoring good in the aptitude part as well so you should not leave that part okay so these were certain points which i just wanted to share with you idea was just to remind you that you have to start book reading okay that is the core idea of this video that you have to start your book reading as early as possible uh, start from especially topics of uh, inorganic chemistry coordination chemistry and organometallic please read some book and make your own notes from there and try to understand concept in detail if you are struggling with some concept you can discuss with other students you can discuss with your seniors we can discuss with uh, someone who can help you out okay so that's how you can learn more and uh, that's how you should be preparing for the exam okay so the intuitive learning is very important now uh, irrespective of the surface level knowledge which was getting spread out in the mass okay so that was all about this video i hope you guys got to know certain new things and uh, do let me know if you have any other question if you have any other point you can let me know in the comment section below and uh, if you have any uh, like request about certain type of video or certain idea about it you can let me know in the comment section below and i will see you guys soon with more videos regarding your csr net and other exams preparation so stay tuned for that and subscribe the channel if you have not done it already we have launched our own batch for uh, csr net december 2024 exam that is a gamma batch and in that we are uh, we have made a detailed class on physical chemistry especially with a lot of mock tests lot of new questions which can improvise your preparation for physical chemistry portion of your csr net so if you are interested into it you can subscribe and you can purchase that particular batch and uh, you can learn from uh, my lectures over there so you'll be getting video lectures you'll be getting mock tests over there and you will be also getting assignments so that you can have a better understanding of the concept all right so if you are interested the link is there in the description of this video also the link is there in the pinned comment section so that's all from my side for this particular video see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care